Hi, this is Maria. Today I'm going to show you how to make this daily layout in GoodNotes and then we'll switch over and work in Note Shelf as well. So let's get started. This is the 2020 DigiBujo by Jenny Golan Designs. Everything I'm using will be linked in the video description below as usual. If you look down over here, there'll be a little down arrow. If you click that, you will see the video description with all of the products that I'm using and suggestions of other things to watch. And also, this is a good opportunity for me to ask you to like and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. That will help me grow and show you more things. So alright, this is Good Notes. We're going to start from scratch, so I'm going to click my eraser and clear the page. Alright, so now I'm going to bring in my images. I'm going to grab my photos. And a lot of people were asking me how I do this. If you grab from the side, you can do side by side. Okay? But you can also float. We're going to do that again. Here's the side by side. I didn't drop that. If I just float, we end up with this little image. And this little image can float around. You can swipe it away. And you can also add another one. So that you can scroll between two, go back and forth, and swipe those away as well. Okay. Put it on whichever side you want it on, and that little trick works like that. So somebody was asking me how I did that. That's how I do that. Alright, so let me get my daily spread. Now that daily spread is called Daily and Weekly Layouts. I'll put the links below. And I want the Sunday Start one. So this one. Um, you can use Monday Start. Do which, Use whichever one you like, you prefer in your journal. Now one thing that GoodNotes does that Note Shelf doesn't do is GoodNotes lets you skew your images to fit exactly where you want them to be. Um, no shelf doesn't do that. Alright, let's see what else. I'm going to use another set. This one is called Meal Planner. And I've picked this one because I liked some of the stickers in here. I like these here. So we're going to tap and crop and we're going to grab one at a time. Now I like to work in large sheets like this, um, but Jenny has started um, creating her images um, as individual PNGs already pre-cut for you, and also GoodNotes files, so check the listing when you buy things. Um, I, I'm also trying a new thing here where I'm, I put the images that I'm using in today's video in, in their own little folder so that I don't have to scroll so much looking for images. It just saves some time. But that illustrates that you could do that. You could make folders for all your dailies. You can make folders for um, your weeklies. Just um, whatever happens to work better for you. This works better for me. So I like to keep my images in, in folders. So that's good. Let's grab, let's see, what else do I want? I want a sticker from this one. These, these three all come together. And the other ones all come together. The other ones you get a weekly and a daily in both the Monday and the Sunday start. Tap and crop. I just love the colors of this set, so I decided to use these. Okay, I'm going to get my lasso. Images is turned on because I want to actually copy and use it again. I like to use my images. Um, in corners like this. That's just personal preference. Alright, let's grab this sticker and just use use what fits, use what works. And if it doesn't quite fit, you can always resize things. And here's that 
nice little function that GoodNotes lets you skew your images. I've asked for that for Node Shelf to update their image um, tool, and we'll see if they grant my wish there and add some more features that we're that we're used to over here in GoodNotes. All right, so like I just like to make things match like this. You certainly don't have to do any of this. Everything with your planner should be exactly as it works best for you. Now, I like these little heart ones, so let's use those. This is all, all the same sticker sheet. Tap and crop. Done. And we'll add that in there. And there was another little heart one in there. Tap and crop so that we can match the other side. Now with this I ran into a little problem. Because that word underneath keeps popping through. So if we may just play with the sizing a little bit, we can hide that. Or we can take a white pen and just erase the little bits. Somebody asked me how do I get a white pen. So if you don't already have a color of white, you can go into custom, pick a white, and click this little plus button, and that will add it into your presets. And I'll show you how to add a color in Note Shelf as well here in a minute. All right, so that's that. Let's add this one. Tap and crop. And that's actually not small enough, so we're going to crop again. And I'm going to freehand and just take that out. I just want this part. To go right here. There we go. Now I'm going to pick a blue, pick something from here, you can pick something from here. I've already picked a pretty blue. Um, we'll pick a fairly large circle and just do a little highlighting here. Just to kind of match a little bit of, there's a blue pin so I wanted some blue on this side. And we'll just make that one a little bigger. All right, go back to May and pick whatever day it happens to be when you watch this video. All right, that is it for Good Notes. So let's work in Note Shelf and do the same layout. We'll grab that daily. make it fit the space and then we'll start bringing in the images tap and edit and we're going to work the one side first and then we'll go on the other on the other page and again I'm just going to size that to fit Lasso to copy, long press and paste to get that mirror effect, mirror image effect. This one. We're actually doing it just a slight bit differently, but that's okay. Apply and done. I think I got these in reverse, but I sure did, and I don't like that, so we're going to just change our minds here. The beauty of digital is we can just, boop, no harm, no foul, just move them around. I like this at the top, with so it, the little tools pop up at the top there. There we go. And copy, paste, 
and we'll put this one down here. Okay, and then the long press and fix this to fit a little better. Now that is handy with good notes that you can go to the side. So we'll see if Note Shelf um, grants my wish and adds some more tools over here. It was requested, but eh, you know how that goes. All right, let's add, let's see, from this image, tap and edit. And we'll start grabbing these, apply, rotate, a lot of similar features here. I'm noticing that they crop bigger in note shelf they I had to make them bigger when I cropped them they they popped up smaller in good notes for some reason edit and done and when I'm bringing them over here I'm not having to resize them they they fit the screen a little better I don't know why that is just a function of the crop tool all right let's see same image Tap and edit. I want the little hearts. Apply and done to fit in here. One more time. Tap and edit. This goes by really quickly. That actually lined up a little better for me than it did in Good Notes. Again, they um, they come over differently for some reason, um, size-wise. Let's see, there was one more I wanted here. Tap Edit. So I can do a lasso like I did with Good Notes, or. Um, with Good Notes, I did a, a crop tool and hit done, and that was the only option. Here, I can hit apply and keep cropping, and keep cropping things out. So I have my crop tool this way. I have my crop tool as a lasso, and I also have an eraser, so you can do like a magic eraser lets you do. It's another app called Magic Eraser. So. You just, this is one feature that Note Shelf is a little better, I think, because you can keep cropping and cropping until you're happy and then hit done. And we're going to pop that right here. And just make it fit the space. All right, so I see a little bit of wording behind that. So let's find that white pen here. I'm going to click pen. Now I already have a white that I've added, and if you didn't have one, go to Edit, Plus, and you see that there's not a white here. But on most palettes, what the way to get a white is you either double tap a corner to get a, a pure white, or you just drag to the very corner and get the pure white, okay? Same thing with the black. If you tap the corner, you'll get a black. Okay, so all F's is white. If I like that and I want to add it, see I've already got it, so let's just go off a little bit so I can show you a different color. It'll say add, and then when I go back, it will be added as the last color I just added. And then you can long press and move it to wherever you want. Kind of like that color, we'll plop it right there. That's how you add a color into Note Shelf, um, and you can add that with any tool. So the tool, the pen, the highlighter is the same way. There's your edit and your add tool, and also in your text feature, if you wanted to change your color and add to your palette again you would add here with in the same in the same manner that we did before. Now here I've noticed that my keyboard gets in the way. So 
for this type of you have to scroll nice and easy edit you have to scroll within this tool in order to find your buttons so if you have an attached keyboard all of these functions work a lot better and that's the same in good notes as well so let's get rid of this um, yeah somebody had asked me how to add pens and color and the color white specifically so there you go um, let's see what else um, highlighter let's pick a pretty light blue and I want a chisel tip just because I like the chisel tips we'll go a little bigger for this one here and May and pick the day that it happens to be for you. Um, the other thing that Noteshelf lets you do that GoodNotes doesn't is you can lock your image so that when you write over top you don't move your image below. Now um, this is an image itself so I need to lock that one too so that when I move I'm not going to move the image behind it. Now over here I haven't locked those images so let's see what happens there. I drop my hello, if I go to move it, that's what GoodNotes does unless you lock, I'll show you here in GoodNotes in a minute. So if I lock the image, now I can move my text. Alright, back to GoodNotes. You can write, let's pick another color. To move your handwriting over here with the lasso, you have to make sure you turn you need to make sure the images is off and handwriting is on to move just the handwriting and not the image below it. Where in the other one, you simply lock the image. So you can get the same effect in both programs. All right, that's my video for today. I hope you like and use whichever app happens to work better for you. Thanks for watching.